got my zebra pot out. I had this for a long time. This comes in multiple sizes. I got the 14. I believe it also has a larger and a smaller size. I have the insert is on the top because I've accessorized this. Inside it, I have a pot lifter, a bread pan, another kick pan, some screens. And I'm not going to need these today and also a pot holder. I'm not going to need these today because I've been cooped up in this house for months. And I'm a very outdoorsy person and I have simply got to get out of this house. I got to do something that seems normal to me. And that is going to be showing you a quick meal. You can pre-make in this and then cook once you get out where you need to go. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start out with some butter, two or three tablespoons of butter. Just go ahead and dump it in there. Next thing you're going to want, some kibasa. I grabbed my old cutting board. Now normally, I would probably only put about half of this in that pot. But I need the protein right now, so I'm just going to do it all. Slice this up, kibasa up, whatever thickness you want, doesn't matter. Hopefully my cat gets the one that just fell on the floor. I've only got about uh, two hours of daylight left, so I'm trying to get this done quick. So you got butter, then you put kibasa in there. Now you can do this really however you want to do it. I'm sure I'm going to have way more than I need out in the woods. And I'm going to be bringing some of this home for another meal later. There's a whole lot of kibasa in there. I don't care. I need the protein, and that's something I've been able to eat. Next thing you want is some cabbage. This cabbage, even though it's pretty bulky initially, it will break down and shrink a lot. So use a lot of this. Pack it in there, like really, really pack it in there. Again, I am packing it in there though. That is one thing you definitely want to do because you would think that this pot is full and then when it cooks, it will be nothing on the cabbage. So literally pack it in there as hard as you can. Now I make this a couple of different ways. Sometimes I'll put carrots and potatoes in this. If you do that, you got to separate the ingredients cut because the carrots and potatoes have to cook way longer than the cabbage and kibasa. So I'm just doing this simple just to show you quick meal, nutritious, will fill you up. I'd say we are about as far as I'm going to get with putting cabbage in here. 
I am really forcing it down with my fingers. There's just a little bit more of this cabbage left and a lot that I kind of spilled. But I'm going to put this lid on here and my little bowl and lock this all back down. Because now this is ready to go in the woods. My time about this time of year is all of the underbrush is mostly dead. Makes it a little easier to walk back here. I also know I forgot any of my large bushcraft style knives. Although I'm not too upset about it, we will make do with whatever I got on me. Man, I think I haven't been back here since like whenever it was that I posted a video that said my thinking spot. That is the last time I have been back here. It's maybe been six or seven months, I think. And we are here. Let me get set up. This is my whole entire kit dump, which is much lighter than normal. I'm still pretty weak. So basically I have a backpack, a very small fire kit with no knife. <laughs> Something to drink, which is some hot chocolate and, cho and coffee. A small mug. My firebox. My bushcraft essential stove and a spoon. And a little bit of water. And my camera. I do have a single pocket knife. No fire steel. And a lighter in my pocket. <laughs> I'm also probably way overly dressed, but you will find out that when you lose a lot of weight, you are cold all the time. There is a fire ring back here. I very seldom ever use it. I'm not going to use it. I'm actually going to use my stove. Let's get it set up and get a fire going so we can get this food cooking. We all know that I know how to fight, start a fire with a fire steel. And uh, if you've never seen me do that, you can go back and watch one of those other videos. But I didn't bring a fire steel with me. We're going to cheat. Use some leaves. Maybe heat. Uh, all this stuff's actually pretty wet. I'm probably going to regret not bringing a fire steel. But we're going to make it happen. Let's see what I got in my fire kit. I got a bellows. Don't really have much. I do have a little bit of dryer vent. <laughs> and uh, a little bit of fat wood. We'll use just my regular EDC knife, which is a Smith & Wesson, just to get some of this fat wood off. Don't even know if you can actually see me, come to think of it. Either way, this, uh, video is not about how to start a fire or any of that stuff it's really about cancer my last few weeks of cancer treatment i didn't upload any videos and the reason being was because i do have this uber leaving tinderwick 
I'm just going to use it with a lighter because uh, I said I was going to use whatever I had since I forgot my knife with my fire steel. This is more of a That wood works every time, quickly, easily. But I better be getting some more stuff in there. We have fire, as they say, on the survival shows. Women are always like, I can't find me a good man. Well, let me tell you, you better find you a man knows how to start a fire. Because if shit ever hits the fan, you're going to be awful cold otherwise. One of the things I do like about the zebra pot is, even though this thing has been sitting on this fire for some time, I can still pick it up by its handle. So usually what I do is I move it over to the side when I want to check on it or stir it up or something to that effect. Find a couple of rocks that are flat. Same way with that lid. At least the handle part of it. Getting close. Could definitely go for a few more minutes. Instead of me trying to take this over to where you can see it in the camera, I'm going to take a picture and then I will add the picture to this video. You'll see how much is cooked down already. So here I am taking a picture. Can you see? Phone taking a picture. about half of the pot is only full now after it was like really 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 packed in there heavy and tight we'll stick it back on here for a few more minutes getting ready to add the coffee water so we'll just pull this off Set it aside for a few minutes. Set the coffee water on there. I actually probably need to add a little bit more wood to it. Dump the ashes out of this. Let's go ahead and show you what this looks like when it's done. Mmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'll tell you what the real problem is. We got some backlight. The sun's just about overhead. So that's really what the issue is. What this looks like. Mmm. Cabalsa. I'm going to sit over here and eat. Basically waiting on my coffee water. I better put some more firewood in that because it is not getting very hot yet. Still pretty hot. Mmm. That uh, man is a good. Here's what I've been sitting here looking at the whole time. As you can see, it's a very beautiful place. Normally, the sun sets right straight that way, but because it's winter time, we got about an hour of daylight left, and it sets a little bit before now lower in the sky 
but I don't see anything I've left. You can see here where I've dumped my coals out and wet it down with the water. No smoke. I don't see anything left laying around anywhere. We are out of here. This is a entire walk uphill to get back to the house though.